Hey everyone, my name is Nick Chenon. I'm the former Air Force and Space Force Chief Software Officer. I'm also the founder of Assage. Today we're going to look at some of the new features we brought uh, onto the platform thanks to the new release of OpenAI GPT-4, Turbo and Turbo Vision, and also DALI V3. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to show you today is how the uh, GPT-4 Turbo Vision works. It's able to take pictures and analyze the content of those pictures. So let's show you a couple of examples and see what happens. All right, so we're going to put a couple of pictures here into the system and see exactly uh, what the system returns. And then I'll show you the pictures and you can tell me uh, if the system was uh, correct or not. So First, let's put data set to none and put the GPT-4V. Be careful, this is not on Azure OpenAI yet. As of this recording, it's going to be in a few weeks. So you cannot put any kind of CUI data. This is using the commercial uh, OpenAI fabric. So be careful with that. So I'm going to select a file and I'm going to pick a, a couple of, of uh, uh, pictures. First, I'm going to pick a, a screenshot of Assage uh, plugin list and see uh, what's going to happen. So I'm going to simply say, uh, what is uh, this uh, picture about? And I'm simply attaching the picture and we're going to wait to see uh, what the model says. All right, so it says this plugin appears to be a screenshot of a web interface managing plugins for a software application, page title, public plugins, and it lists all our plugins and it was able to recognize the text from that screenshot uh, perfectly. So I'll show you the picture. Here it is. As you can see, perfect description. Uh, this is uh, pretty mind-boggling that the bot is able not only to recognize what this is about, but also uh, the text from these uh, screenshots. So uh, perfect result on that one. Let's try another image. All right, this is a picture we use for one of our videos, uh, effectively two women talking to each other uh, about a secret that was our video about uh, secrets and how we manage uh, uh, secrets into Assage. So let's ask again. Uh, what is this picture about? All right, this image picture two women against a pink background. Uh, on the left, a press surprise or shocked and with her hand on her cheek and her mouth wide open as if she just heard something astonishing. The woman on the right was whispering under the other ears, suggesting she's sharing a secret or some exciting news. Well, again, perfect result. Uh, so as you can see, this is my book and you could give it schemas, you could give it uh, any kind of visual and the bot will be able to analyze this. So if you have PDF with a bunch of pictures, images in that embedded inside of that, you can now effectively uh, use uh, GPTV to uh, uh, get that image, extract that image, and then send it to the, to the visual uh, model to analyze it. All right, next step, we're going to take a look at uh, DALI V3. So this is enabling you to create images. Uh, so we're going to clear the chat and ask uh, the Daddy V3 model to create a picture. It could be, again, anything. Um, let's see, um, create uh, an image of, of a mascot that uh, could be used for a chatbot using generative AI in the Department of Defense. All right, not too bad, although uh, it's still tough uh, for the uh, Daddy v V3 to write text. As you can see, the fence is spelled wrong, but that could be easily fixed on, on Photoshop. So here you go, uh, an image generated by, by the bot using Daddy V3. Also not on the uh, Azure OpenAI fabric, although that's going to happen in a few days. So always check here. As you can see, it tells you which models are a CUI or non-CUI compliant for government use. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, uh, reach out to us on Discord. Here's the link. And if you also want, you can send us an email at sales at Thanks for watching.